दिस वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड बाय जागृत क्रिएशन इट इज ऑन अकाउंटिंग फॉर ब्रांचेस डिपेंड एंड ब्रांड डेटर सिस्टम आई विश टू सॉल्व वन सम हियर बिफोर यू ऑब्जर्व द सम ऑन द स्क्रीन This is a sum I, I intend to solve under data system. I have selected this sum because of certain important points. Goods destroyed by fire on 25th of March 2017 at cost. Insurance company admitted a claim for the total amount on 31st of March 2017. This is an important point. Sale of brand furniture on 1st of October 2016. Book value of furniture on the date of sale was two three seven five. Amount fat is two two five zero. So these two are the important transactions. Over and above, salary paid, salary up to June. I'm sorry, salary up to January thirty one, two thousand seventeen yearly premium. So these are the important points. Because of these important points, I wish to solve this sum here before you. By data system, in data system we are required to prepare branch account to find out the profit. We prepare working note for petty cash data etc. Petty cash account and data account are prepared in working note. Let us start with the sum. Remember, goods are sent at a cost price. So this is the branch account, working note, petty cash account, branch data account, branch is. advice to deposit cash every day in the bank of head office account and all branch expenses are paid by head office except branch petty cash expenses for which petty cash is being sent to the branch keep this point in your mind now opening stock given to the branch at the beginning of the year branch account debit opening stock account opening balance of debtors Debited in the same way to the debit side of branch account, and the same opening balance of debtors will appear in the working note that we intend to prepare. Opening balance of petty cash is recorded on the debit side of branch account as if asset is given to the branch at the beginning of the year, and the same is recorded as opening balance in petty cash. Furniture at the branch beginning of the year given to the furniture, uh, given furniture to the branch branch account debit to furniture account credit. Prepaid insurance is an asset given to the branch at the beginning of the year. Outstanding salary liability given to the branch at the beginning of the year. When the liability is given to the branch, branch is a giver. Credit the giver. Branch account is to be credited. Journal entry for that is unpaid salary account debit to branch account credit. So I have recorded the opening balances during the year transaction goods sent to branch. Branch account debit to goods sent to branch account credit. Cash sales remitted by branch to H O cash account debit to branch account credit. Credit sale will be debited in debtors account. Cash received from debtors remitted to branch. Remitted by branch to H O cash account debit to branch account credit. Same thing is recorded in the working note in debtors account cash received. Cash sent by debtors directly to head office. Now direct receipt. By head office from customer, it is presumed to have been given by the branch itself. So branch account is to be credited, and as, as the amount is recovered against credit sale, so it will be also credited in debtor's account. So direct remittance credited to debtor's account also is come to allow allow to debtors credited to debtor's account. It would appear in branch account cash sent to branch for expenses. So Branch account debit to cash account rent four thousand five hundred. Cash sent for salary. Branch account debit to cash account for salary. Now this salary point is very important. Up to January thirty first two thousand seventeen, salary six two five zero. So six two five zero is the salary paid up to January seventeen. Which includes the unpaid salaries also paid is a part of this six thousand two hundred and fifty. So that includes the last year's payment, outstanding salary for the last year paid. So payment for the current year is only six thousand. 
and that was to thirty first of January. So six thousand is the salary paid for ten months because February and March yet to be paid because we are preparing branch account up to thirty first of March two thousand seventeen. So this is a very important point. Ten months salary is six thousand. How much for two months? So outstanding salary at the end of the year is twelve hundred. That is to be recorded in branch account debit side. Branch account debit to outstanding salary account credit. All the liabilities of the branch taken up by head office at the end of the year as a part of that the entry is recorded for this closing balance. Unpaid salary is a liability of head office that that head office take from the branch. So branch account debit to unpaid salary account credit. That's a very important adjustment. Now insurance premium up to 30th June. So 31st of March to 30th June three months prepayment. So 12 months amount is 2000. How much for three months? So prepaid insurance will appear on the credit side of branch account closing balance. Prepaid insurance absorbed by head office from branch. Petty cash and branch account debit to cash account to cash account. And in petty cash, you have to write on the receipt side cash received from branch from cash received from HO for petty expenses. Now, goods returned by branch branch is the giver credit the giver branch account is to be credited. Goods returned by customer debtor's account is to be credited for the sales return. Petty expenses by the branch will be recorded on the payment side of petty cash account. Goods destroyed by fire. Very important point. Goods destroyed by fire. On twenty fifth of March two thousand seventeen, at cost, insurance company abated a claim for the total amount on thirty one three two thousand. So one two five zero is a claim for loss of stock. There is no whatever the cost of stock that is lost, the claim is admitted by the insurance company. So this much amount is recoverable from the insurance company at the end of the year. And the, it is a right of a brand to receive money from the insurance company, so it's an asset, and that asset is absorbed by head office in its books of accounts at the end of the year. So claim from insurance company will be recorded in the closing balance as a right to receive of branch transfer to HO. So HO gets this right from branch, so it's an asset. So that asset account amount due from insurance company account debit to branch account credit that is a journal entry. Sale of furniture. I'm sorry. Closing stock at branch that will be recorded in the credit side of branch account. Closing stock of branch. Sale of furniture. The proceeds, whatever the cash is received by branch during the year, is remitted to H O. So proceeds of furniture remitted by branch to H O. So cash account debit to branch account credit. Furniture sold two two five zero. Now I'm required to find out. The book value of furniture at the end of the year. So let me go for working notes for furniture. Suppose that book value on one four two thousand sixteen at the beginning of the year is hundred. The furniture has been sold on first of October, so after six months it has been sold. So six months depreciation thereon will be five. So book value as on first of October two thousand sixteen will be ninety five. So if ninety five is the book value, then opening balance is one thousand hundred. How much for two seven five zero? So this is the book value of furniture sold. So opening balance book value book seven thousand five hundred is the total furniture at the beginning of there. Out of that two thousand five hundred, the furniture for two thousand five hundred has been sold after six months. So book value of furniture sold is two thousand five hundred. So book value of furniture at the close of the year is five thousand, on which whole year depreciation will be calculated. So balance of furniture at the end of the accounting period that is to be credited to branch account is four thousand five hundred. Very important point. Notice it. Now, I would like to work out the loss on sale of furniture. This is the book value of furniture on first of October. The sales proceeds are two two five zero. So loss on sale is one twenty five. That is to be debited to profit and loss account. Now this is a Loss on sale of furniture. Working note is prepared for the purpose of that is required for the purpose of debiting the loss to the profit and loss account. So I keep it here here before you. Now let me close the accounts. One lakh ten thousand. Did at all these things, so you will get the closing balance of debtor. That will go to the branch account credit side. Similarly, I will find out the closing balance of petty cash account. That is also credited to 
branch account because branch has absorbed all these assets at the end of the year. So all these assets account debit to branch account credit. Now let me find out the profit of branch account total of credit minus total of debit. So profit of branch is 117,175. Now I have prepared branch account. Profit is found out. Now I want to prepare trading and profit and loss account to ensure that the profit found by preparing branch account is same that we may get by preparing memoranda trading and profit and loss account. So now let me prepare memoranda trading and profit and loss account. So this is my trading and profit and loss account. Let me debit this loss on sale of furniture first of all so that I can remove this. Now opening stock debit into trading account opening balance of debtors cannot be recorded so it is cancelled for the purpose of explanation it is being cancelled you need not cancel in examination as you find on the screen I'll bring all these cancelled items at the end but for explanation just let me do that 7500 closing balance see look at the item now Suppose that book value of furniture on 142,600, 6 months depreciation 95. 95 is to, this I already explained to you, 125 is the depreciation. So book value 100, depreciation for 6 months 5, book value on 1st of October 95. If 95 is the book value, then 5 is the depreciation. How much for the book value to 375 that is given. So 125 is a depreciation for 6 months on furniture sold. So furniture sold 2500. So depreciation on the furniture that is still with you. Depreciation is 500. See remember 7500 is opening balance. Furniture of 2500 is sold after 6 months. So on 2500 6 months depreciation is worked out to be 125. The remaining furniture is 5000. 5,000 furniture used for the whole year. So whole year depreciation is 500. So total depreciation is 500 plus 125. On this sold furniture depreciation is calculated for 6 months. The furniture on hand at the branch at the end of the year on which depreciation is calculated for the whole year. So 6 months depreciation for 2,500. 1 year depreciation on 5,000. That makes total depreciation 500 plus 125, 625. So this 625 depreciation debited to profit and loss account. Now let me explain to you this thing in a different way. See, if you work out the difference, furniture given, furniture sold, furniture closing balance. So 7500 minus 2250 minus 4750. So total loss, either by sale or depreciation, the total loss or total expense, to be debited to profit and loss account is 750 because in branch account you find 750 debited in this fashion. 7500 debited, this is what has been credited. So 750 is debited to branch account and after that profit is being found out. But the 750 has got two components, depreciation component and loss on sale of furniture that is being bifurcated here. So this 750 is equal to this total, remember it. So 750 is bifurcated into two segments depreciation and loss on sale of furniture that is shown separately in profit and loss account for your better understanding now next prepaid insurance insurance so total of debit minus total of credit is the expense for the current year so if you find out 375 plus 2000 is equal to 2375 minus 500 1875 debited to profit and loss account PT cash opening balance cannot be recorded, so cancel. Goods sent to branch is just like purchase is debited to trading account. Rent 4500 debited to profit and loss account. PT cash sent cannot be recorded. In salaries 1, 2, and 3. 6250 plus 1200 minus 250, 7200. Salary debited to profit and loss account. 6,000 was the salary for 10 months. So one month salary is 600. 12, 6 are 7,200. Salary debited to profit and loss account is 7,200. Goods return will be deducted from goods end. Cash received from debtors cannot be recorded. See it is removed. 
Direct remittance by debtors also cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. So remove cash sales, trading account credit side, closing stock, trading account credit side, closing balance of debtors ignored, petty cash balance at the end ignored. Claim from insurance company 1250 because loss of stock and goods go out are recorded. Goods go out by any way by sales or loss, loss by fire, loss or loss by any uh, any some such reason. If the goods go out of the ownership, trading account is to be credited. So this insurance claim shows the goods destroyed, credited to trading account. Very important point. Now PT expenses debited to profit and loss account, credit sales, trading account credit, sales return deducted therefrom, so net sales 397,500, discount allowed debited to profit and loss account, gross profit transferred to profit and loss account, net profit worked out to be 117,175, same as this one, notice it, this is how we have prepared branch account and found the profit. Same profit is found out by preparing trading and profit and loss account. Now, I have tried to explain you this sum. This sum is solved by data system. But this sum holds certain very important tricky points and that's why I have selected and solved here before you. I have tried to explain you. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.